Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. All right, our educational website resource that we have for you today is Creative Learning Systems. So if you click on that link, it's going to direct us to uh, 600 plus pieces that are STEM related curriculum. This is primarily a uh, project based learning, a uh, student directed resource that allows schools to access for administrators, teachers, parents right now, any K through 12 learning setting that includes smart labs, um, engaging and relevant real world application problems. Now, the one stipulation is you have to do a sign up. If you fill out the information there, and once you click submit, they are going to provide you with a login and password. Now, the login is going to be uh, directed through the website that they give you, which is ll.creativelearningsystems.com. The username, if you want to bypass all of that, is eLearning. The password is 2020. And once you log in, there is a dashboard here that provides several interactive learning activities for students. And again, this is a smart lab. So this is very engaging. And all of these, as I scroll through them, have real world application problems within here that are just really great for students to have the opportunity to engage and learn virtually. So the one we're gonna be taking a look at today is the liftoff challenge. And if you can see, there are several liftoff challenges provided here. We're gonna go ahead and go to scientific data and analysis. And the one that we'll select as a challenge today is exploring your world through Google Maps. And what's nice about this is it gives you a step-by-step. -step. So it gives students the overall view of the challenge that is virtual. It lets the students and teacher know what is needed, gives you an overview of what a map is, how to use Google Maps, viewing those options, the routing tool, and how to navigate through that step-by-step. -step. So this is a really nice reference and a precursor to the introduction of a lesson. 
then the actual lesson is provided step by step. So taking a look at your table of contents, the steps in order to create an account. Obviously, most students will already have an account. Take a virtual trip. What are points of interest, uh, attraction areas? Where do they want to go? And then they will map out their activities. So this is a really great interactive way to plan a virtual trip for the near future or for students, again, to use tools that are available uh, electronically right now just to gain more experience online and interacting with our web browsers and resources that are available out there uh, as they go into adulthood. So hope you can use this in the near future. It's a great resource, great lab, uh, virtual interactive, again, project-based learning, all at your fingertips. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, resource and we'll see you soon.